Cottonwood Springs, um, teenage place if they need um, help with that. Um, so that's that's good. Um, I was gonna try to see what it's called, but it's that is a new um, thing they have out on uh, mental health um, or facilities. Um, so that's nice. I think it's called Cottonwood Changes. Um, it is, and it's about it's they're real close to each other. I think Cottonwood Changes in one hundred and thirty eighth. Street in Olathe and Cottonwoods is a little longer or 135th. So they're pretty close to each other, um, obviously. So that's, that's one fantastic. Thing. There's real need for that. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of the diagnoses you get at a later age, um, but we still need help for the teenagers um, and stuff like that. And they're going through a chain that they're going through a thing that we never really had to go through as kids. Yeah. COVID. Sure. They have different expectations and they have different lives. They, they, they're all locked into their phone. They're all not as friendly as like when we were kids, they didn't, they, didn't, they don't talk to each other as much. They don't interact mm -hmm. with each other. Um, but two final things I wanted to get to or really two final things um you know there's some people that have mental health disorders and they either they think a group is helpful so they go to the group and they go to psych and they don't want to go to psychologist because they don't think it's helpful i've met people like that or there's people that think okay group okay psychology is helpful but group's not for me and that and that might be true but how important do you think it's for you to go to your psychologist and or group? Um, the psychologist for me is imperative because it focuses just on, on, on my personal recovery only. And I feel like the session is guided a lot by what's happening in my life primarily. And I, it's an opportunity for me to ask questions. It's an opportunity for me to learn coping skills and an opportunity for me to get perspective from a physician. Um, NAMI on the other hand, I feel like almost saved my life after I was robbed and experiencing very severe PTSD I was not trusting of people and my therapist at the time suggested I find a support group and there aren't a lot especially ones that are free and where Sam and I live which is in Kansas City I'm not sure if you announced that we're broadcasting from Kansas City very often or not but that's where we are and so when she and I were doing a search for support groups um, I was, of course, hoping to find one that was specific to PTSD, but NAMI encompasses um, any mental health illness, um, including PTSD. So I thought that I would go check it out. And the first time I went, I was nervous. I had never been to a support group of any kind with a doctor or not with a doctor in a, in a hospital or anything. And I really didn't know what to expect. I mean, I'd seen it on TV and in movies, but I never had pictured myself being a part of that group. But I knew that I needed help and that I was an open-minded person and I was open to this, what this, what this group could bring to my life. And it has brought me so many countless blessings. I, I couldn't begin to, to number them all. And although I volunteer weekly for this group to facilitate the group, I also every other week just participate um, in, in the group as well. And it has given me a sense of I'm not alone with the struggle. It has validated a lot of my thoughts and feelings as a person, as a woman, as an individual living with mental illness. 
It's given me um, strength when I was weak. It's given me um, celebration and congratulation through my triumphs, some of them being just baby steps. It's a place that I can cry. It's a place that I can share accomplishments. I've developed deep relationships and friends um, that I don't know if I would have met any other way except for through this group. And the, the having a safe place to discuss my mental illness and other people discuss their mental illness and um, the camaraderie that we get and the support that we give one another, I describe it as almost magic because it just works so well having a group of individuals who all share this in common, but also have the goal of recovery and living a better life, accepting that we have this mental illness, but not letting it define us. And so I consider it my life's goal and one of mine, if not my biggest passion in life is to offer mental health um, support to anyone in our community that needs it. Um, it, it, it it's, it's such an underserved um, area and it's so needed. And I think that like what you mentioned with COVID, it, it's really only gotten worse and the need has only grown more. And support groups don't work for everyone, but they have really worked. This has really worked for me. And I also attended a grief support group, not related to NAMI, um, and it was really helpful to me. So I think it just depends on your personality on your willingness and your your openness and your willingness to give and participate. Um, but for me, it's been life altering, life changing in a very, very positive way. And it has given my life a lot of meaning and purpose as well. NAMI Family Support Group was the first entry for me into NAMI and the reason I joined this support group was because I have a daughter that has mental illness. Family Support Group turned out to be really a lifesaver for me. I kind of realized that it was not my fault, that I was not alone. There was a place for me to put the blame, shame, and guilt. And I learned coping skills, but most importantly I learned I wasn't alone. I wasn't by myself and I had a NAMI family. And and because it just saved us, I wanted to help others. If I can go in and be feeling kind of blasé, blue, or whatever in my own little self, and I come out of it and I'm uplifted and I just feel more positive, and, and so I go home with a better attitude, which makes everything nice. The, the support group, it, for me, it's self-care, mm -hmm. as much as it is supporting other people. Well, first and foremost, and to me what's important, uh, it's totally free. It costs nothing to attend. Going there and knowing that there are other families, other parents, other caregivers going through the same thing and helping them, that was the key to me because a lot of insurance don't cover um, these type of things that NAMI offers it for free. I have family members now because of NAMI all over the nation and it's always like a breath of fresh air when we gather together and see each other. We are family, that's how I describe NAMI. We are family. NAMI Family Support Groups will save your life. To learn more about NAMI Family Support Group and what's available in your community, visit nami.org slash FSG or call This wins pretty easily over Oklahoma State 87 76. Grady Dick scores 26. The day after only get ahead by two at the second half. They outscored Oklahoma State by nine in the second half and won by 11. Kansas State loses to OU and drops to fourth in the conference. Kansas State has lost two in a row and are just a game over 500 in the conference. Mizzou gets outscored 89-56, the biggest defeat of the season against Auburn. With sports.